Uh, well, we're warming up to this uh, T20 contest. New Zealand need to get off to a good start then, Simon. Um, because we know things can happen in the first six overs, and that is where you take the lead. Yeah, absolutely. Well, a couple of key components from a New Zealand point of view. Bowl well to Bubba. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's the key, isn't he? We've yeah. seen his stats. I mean, he's unbelievable for Pakistan in all formats of the game, but particularly in, of late yeah. in 2020s and Hafiz. They are the men I'd like to see New Zealand really ramp it up and go after and go after hard. Baba Hafiz hold the key for Pakistan with the bat. Get into them. Yeah, absolutely right. Uh, well, Fakhar Zaman needs to get some runs as well. Right, uh, show about to begin and time now to join our commentators. Upstairs starting the fun for us is Vakar Yunus and Danny Morrison. Oh, sweet. Just eased into it. And it eases away for the first boundary for Pakistan. Unlucky. Another wonderful delivery, but uh, got the inside edge. Rance. And he's going full again. He's going to disappear. Missed his length. And uh, Baba Razan didn't. Here it is. Will it bring about the wicket? It will. Chapman takes the catch. Ferguson bangs it in and Fakhar Zaman departs. Extra pace. Slower ball gets away from him. Nicely played around the corner. Was there any bat involved? I think there might have been a little bit. No pace on that, but he finds the gap and will pick up a four. Yes, perfectly placed. Yeah, it's a slow delivery, but it's just too short. Clever. Very clever indeed. Chase for each sorry. Ball wins. Oh, that's so good. So good. Will it be cut off? No, it won't. It will not. Seth Rance, I think it is, down at the third man boundary. Got around to it. Dive, but just got stuck in the turf. Gone up in the air and it's a six and he does it with some style. Fastest to T20,000 runs, it's a record. Oh, that was a fees, I beg your pardon. But uh, just maintain that energy, minus Barbaraza. Yeah, wonderful use of the feet from Muhammad Hafiz. He's also been in good touch this series. He uses his feet beautifully and it hits a huge six, 90 meters. Wonderful strike, straight down the ground. Marshall's getting the better of me, which is, I don't know what to say. That's another big hit. Massive straight six. Fantastic piece of betting from Afiz. He's so good against spin and once again, proving why so. At 24, you feel that he's still... Sort of continuing to work hard and work is on as far as he's concerned. Terrific record, 1,000 T20 runs. Handshake from Hafiz. Work in progress at 24, but uh, look at uh, what he has achieved. He's beaten the field. On 49, looking for his eighth T20-50. And that's his 50. Easily done. Workmanlike. Terrific player for Pakistan. Gives them solidity, gives them class, gives them consistency. Absolutely, Ramiz. Class act, Baba Azam. 26 matches, just ticked over that 1,000 run mark. And now it's 850 in this format of the game. Wonderful achievement from him. He's been fantastic throughout this home summer for Pakistan. And they'll be hoping for a few more runs out of him yet tonight. It's a straight six. It is a six. Nice and flat. 100 comes up for Pakistan. Oh, Babra Azam, he's getting in on the party now. Will it be another one? Yes. Great piece of timing. 
Two out of two balls. Great stuff. Chance. Oh, just short. He's charged in Seth Rance. Couldn't quite get there, and in the end was in no man's land. Well, Barbara Azam, anything he's touching at the moment is turning into gold. This was another beautiful shot timing. It was there. The fielder coming under it, looking to catch that. Just decided to pull out very late. Big enough? No. Salvi takes the catch. Good running catch from Tim Salvi. The end of Baba Azam's innings. It's been a fine innings. But it's taken a good catch to dismiss him. Yeah, wonderful inning, without a doubt. But uh, couldn't really get hold of it. The ball was there. I think they couldn't really get the middle of the bat. Just uh, bat sort of swirling in the hand. An easy catch. Poor. He'd be disappointed with that, Colin de Grandhomme. It's a freebie for the new batsman. Full toss. Oh, that's a lovely piece of timing. Vacant in that area. And Hafiz picks up a boundary. Oh, very nice. That is so clever. He's good to watch at the moment, Mohamed Hafiz. Definitely more, Dooley. Oh, wait, 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 and then put it away. I think he hit the ball on the way down. The ball was coming on the way down. Then he just scooped it up. That's the first thing I've seen, something like that. Um, this one might be out. This one might be out, and it will be. Lockie Ferguson takes the catch, but it's been a very good innings. Very selfless innings from Shoaib Malik. Yeah, short, very short innings, but very fruitful. 19 of eight deliveries. Pakistan needed that momentum, and he gave it very nicely. Ball spun a little bit. It was a slow delivery and uh, easy catch. Saudi looking to bowl wide of off stump. About there. Brilliant, brilliant. The only issue with setting that field, not quite executing it does tell the batsman exactly where you want to bowl. That's brilliant from Hafiz. Yeah, wonderful. He's in such a good form. He's not going to really miss out on those. He knew exactly where Saudi's going to bowl. He's also third man inside the circle. He's got a wideish third man also, but he's got a massive gap. So either side of the pitch, Full length delivery of his will be targeting him both sides of the pitch. Does have the option of the slower ball as well. That one right, and that'll be a half century for Hafiz. Of 32 deliveries, his 10th T20 international 50. Mrs. Hafiz is happy. Yeah, well deserved 50. Played really well. He's been playing. Extraordinary cricket since his return back into Pakistan team. He came into test match. He scored a hundred And then in 2020s He's getting runs on regular basis run out opportunity Missed the stumps by quite a bit of distance Dooley See the keepers so often in this situation get a glove off really quickly and Cypher deciding no Hit them on Very good from Tim Southey to finish. 10 from the over, 166 for three. Pakistan outstanding in their 20 overs tonight. Looking to wrap this series up 3-0. And they've done the best possible thing to make sure that happens. They need to back it up with the ball now for New Zealand. It'll be a very tough chase. Pakistan scored 54 in the last six overs five overs beg your pardon so they've been they've been outstanding 8.30 is the run rate which new zealand will be looking to chase it hasn't happened in the last
couple of weeks in New, Ze in New Zealand and Australia playing. So it's going to be a stiff task. It's not going to be easy for the New Zealander to chase down 167. Like Zaman didn't quite get going. New Zealand targeted him in at the hips and at the legs. He just 11 from 16. But then that partnership between Baba and Hafiz took the score from 29 through to 123. It was outstanding. Hafiz remained not out 53. Baba Razum, 79 of 58, brought up his 1,000 runs in T20 internationals. The quickest to do so today, from the New Zealand point of view, Seth France, very good. Lockie Ferguson also into the side tonight. So two good performances there. Salvi did well. And the disappointing fact, I guess, from uh, New Zealand point of view, East Sodi, two overs for 22. De Grandom having to pick up that work. And Munro, a couple of uh, overs that went at 10 and a half as well. Ball and bang on target. Munro there going across the line and he's dismissed. Big wicket for Pakistan. Yeah, well bowled, hitting the top of the stumps. Gets it into the gap. Will get a boundary. First boundary for New Zealand in this innings. Took a bit of time, but it has finally come. Chance here. Oh dear, direct hit. Ramiz could be close. That's the phrase appealed quite hard. Are they going to ask the third umpire? Yes, I think there'll be a bit of a consultation regarding this. Bales up now. Bales up now. Is there anything? O is that over the line or not? Come on, Ramiz. I'm not going to call it. <laughs> yeah, I think he'll get the red light. It's out. Into the gap and runs for the skipper. Four runs. Once that ball goes into the gap, every likelihood that he'll hit the fence. Nice little shot. That's the option. Fine leg in the circle. Use the pace on offer. Williamson very good at that. Deft touch. Bit of whippage from Kane Williamson. Nice wrist work from the Kiwi captain. It's another boundary for him. Give it a heave. And there's another boundary to Kane Williamson. He's fourth. There we go. Change of pace and oh. Kano take a bow with that. She's that's good to watch. 15 off. Lovely late hands and uh, run away. Oh, it sure is. Wonderful batsmanship there from Kane Williamson. Beautiful wrist work. And he's opened up that offside as only Kane can do. Fantastic. Sides to go big on the onside. Big. Oh, you betcha. 50 partnership with these two. It's up in the air and a massive six. 50 comes up for Williamson. He's playing a blinder. Excellent against spin and showcasing his talent and quality. What a shot that is. Into the gap for runs. It's another boundary. Silky touch from Williamson. Yeah, superb placement from Kane Williamson. That's a big shot. That's gone flat for six. Excellent timing from Phillips. That's gone for not six, but this is taken by Barbara Azam. He's a good fielder, so. Shadab does it for Pakistan. He's a wicket taker and a partnership breaker. Ah! Clean him up. Shadab Khan amongst wickets. He's been in awesome form in T20s.
down the leg side. Quicker ball. He saw the batsman coming out of the crease. Safraz is pretty convinced. And if it goes in favor of Pakistan, this was beautifully telegraphed. Bowler and the skipper. Sure, we'll get confirmation from the third umpire. Nice peak is, piece of work as well from Safraz Ahmed. Never easy for a keeper down the leg side. Particularly when he gets blinded from the batsman. No Chapman has to go. Oh, got him straight away. Quicker ball. Playing him off the back foot is deadly dangerous and he's done him in with a quicker ball. And just like that, Pakistan take total control of this game. Two overs go. We felt New Zealand were back in it. Now, Rushidab Khan and Ahmad Wazim have taken four wickets in two overs. Ahmad Wazim, Shadab Khan, two world-class operators in this format of the game. Chance of a run out. Is he gone? Is he gone? Tim Saldi. Certainly looks as though he's a couple of inches short. Unfortunately for New Zealand, it could well be a second run out in this innings. Yeah, three wickets in three balls for New Zealand. This looks out. He slipped just a little bit as well when he was trying to get back, and uh, I, I think he's short of the crease. Slithering downhill. Caught behind, that's a very good catch. It was a quicker ball from Shadab. He's picked another. And so becomes the highest wicket taker in the calendar year. Mentioned, uh, just check out the domination now of uh, the home side. Well, Waka, you're saying your bowling side's out. And there's another big neck. First wicket debutant on his birthday to boot. So. High fives all round and a big hug to boot. Yeah, good change from Surfraz, good move from Surfraz, bringing the youngster on. The Shodi, he's mistimed it. No, he's not too bad. Let off was up. So a little freebie over the top. It's uh, well, so he had a little bit of room to swing his arms. That's the catch deck and Safraz was moving more toward the leg side as the ball sort of edged and came onto his right. A late dive. Happy camp. Happy team. And it's all over. Debutant wraps it up with a couple of wickets. Mickey Arthur, coach of Pakistan, will be delighted, of course. But it's the first time New Zealand have lost three zip in a three-match series of this form of the game. Waka Yunus. Well, another whitewash by the Pakistanis. Back to back, they beat Australia 3-0, beating New Zealand now 3-0. The crowd's happy. And a pretty easy win for Pakistan in this game. Won by 47 runs. A very, very good unit. Pakistan made a couple of changes, brought in the two fast bowlers, and they delivered. Mickey Arthur happy. The dressing room over the moon. That's a great achievement. Right, let's visit the match summary. Pakistan, after an uneasy start, got to 166 for the loss of three. Babar Azam with another magical innings. Hafiz got it, getting 53. In reply, New Zealand just couldn't handle the pressure. Only 